Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this lesson, we will talk about what is an Oracle Database. In the previous lesson, we saw what is an Oracle Instance. So let's just do a quick recap of that. So let me open Notepad. So right now, this is an empty Notepad instance, which is just running on the in the memory of this PC. OK, it didn't open any file because we haven't told it to open any file right so it's right now just a empty memory process so like that when we start oracle the first stage would be to start the oracle instance which is basically the memory processes for oracle so now let me open a file okay so what what did i do i chose a file that resides in the hard drive and then i opened it and what happened the notepad process or the notepad instance that was running that is running on the memory opened that file okay so similarly during the startup oracle starts an instance and then we tell that instance to open a database what is a database it's a collection of data files and other files when i say other files i'll explain those things later okay so right now it's collection of files which are particular which are needed for that particular database okay so again let me repeat so when we start Oracle it starts an instance and then we tell that instance to open a database which opens a database by reading the necessary files from the disk okay and that's how it opens the database so like I said before the memory processes are collectively called as an Oracle instance and the data files it opened are collectively called as an Oracle database right that's it it took me a while for me to understand when I learned Oracle years ago and that's the reason I am uh, explaining this again and again so when we start Oracle the first phase of the startup is to start the Oracle instance, which is to initiate and start, initiate and load some memory processes into the RAM. To do that, it reads the parameter file and gets the configuration information of how the memory structure should be and then it runs those memory processes so at this point you know it's just an empty instance like the notepad instance I opened before opening this file right so let me redo it again so opening an empty instance like the initial phase of as an Oracle startup and then I'm opening a file okay so we start the Oracle instance and then we read the data files and then we open an Oracle database okay so an Oracle instance plus Oracle database is collectively called as what Oracle database <laughs> that's why I got confused when I learned Oracle years ago because at some point someone would mention Oracle database and then uh, someone would talk about like an Oracle instance and Oracle database together so like that I got it I got them confused that's the reason I'm you know uh, going this over and over again because this is very basic uh, stuff uh, that uh, uh, I hope I am explaining this in a uh, easy way so that you understand this so this is kind of like uh, so right now you know these days iPhone comes with iPod inbuilt what do you call the device that has both iPhone and iPod iPhone so it's kind of like that so we have memory processes called Oracle instance and we have the database which are which is a collection of dead files data files and log files 
and when both are open again it's called oracle database but then technically this is oracle database and this is oracle instance why we call the memory process as oracle instance is let me just give you one scenario little bit complicated scenario where i can open one more instance of notepad and open the same file so what happened here two instances of notepad controlling one database i one file but then again in oracle world you have two instances controlling one database right this is the basic concept of oracle real application cluster i'll i will talk about that later you know we we have lot more to cover before uh, me stepping into oracle rack okay so but the important thing is like now we have an instance of notepad running here we have an instance of notepad running here and they control the data file thank you for watching this